Good morning, students. Welcome to classes on economics of capital market. Today, we will be dealing with financial system and economic development. In this video, we will be discussing about the role of financial system in economic development. I'll be using 12 important points to depict the role of financial system in the economic development of a country. Now, let us move on to the points. First point, fostering saving habits and accelerating investment. Financial system fosters saving habits and accelerates investment and thereby increases production and promotes economic development of a country. We all know that to attain economic development, a country needs more investment, more savings, and more production. Financial system induces public to save more by offering attractive interest rates. See, when a person buys the financial asset, financial asset will provide him return. Return may be in the form of dividend or a fixed rate of interest. So, financial assets induces people to buy buy it or save more so financial system induces people to save more and the savings of the people are channelized to productive areas so financial system fosters saving habits of the people and people saving are converted into investment and when investment increases, automatically production increases in the economy. And when production increases, economic development increases. So, financial system through fostering saving habits and accelerating investment increases production and promotes economic development in the country. So, this is the first point. Now, let us move on to the second point. Role of financial system in the growth of capital. We know that any business requires two types of capital. Fixed capital and working capital. Fixed capital is used for investment in fixed assets like land, machineries and so on. And working capital is used for day-to-day -day running of business. The fixed capital is long-term in nature. The fixed capital is raised from capital market, whereas working capital is short-term in nature and working capital is raised from money market. And we know that money market and uh, capital market are components of financial market or financial system. Thus, financial system helps in the growth of capital and thereby promotes economic development. So, financial system helps business to get funds for their fixed assets as well as working assets and helps, uh, helps in the growth of capital of a country as well as promotes economic development of the country. Now let us move on to the third point. Financial system facilitates foreign exchange market. What is foreign exchange market? Foreign exchange market is market for foreign currency. The foreign exchange market is useful for exporters and importers. They need foreign currencies for, for uh, settlement, set, settling their transaction. So, foreign exchange market is helpful for exporters and importers. As well as foreign exchange market enables banks to borrow from and lend to different types of customers in various foreign currencies. So, banks have... Um, uh, different types of customers and these customers need uh, different foreign currencies and this foreign exchange market 
helps banks to give give foreign ex foreign currencies to their customer as well as uh, foreign exchange markets provides opportunities for the bank to invest their short term idle funds to earn profit so foreign exchange market helps banks to earn profit the foreign exchange market is helpful for exporters importers and banks then even governments may get benefit from foreign exchange market government have to meet their foreign exchange requirements and they meet their foreign exchange requirements through foreign exchange market so foreign exchange market helps exporters importers banks and government and thereby foreign ex thereby foreign exchange market helps in economic development we know that foreign exchange market is a part of financial system the financial system helps exporters importers banks and government and thereby promotes economic development of the country now let us move on to the fourth point strengthen the government securities market or gilt edged market financial system enables state and central government to raise both short term and long term funds so government also needs fund for development activities mostly government faces budgetary deficit or budgetary gap in most of the government in most cases government expenditure will be much greater than uh, receipt revenue receipt so there will be a budgetary gap to fill this budgetary gap government need fund and financial system via financial market provides this fund to government so financial system helps government to gain short term and long term funds for development activities and thus promotes overall economic development of the country now let us move on to the next point financial system helps in the infrastructural development of the country so economic development of country depends on infrastructural facilities available in the country and financial system plays a crucial role in providing funds for growth of infrastructural industries so infrastructural development is crucial for a country's development and financial system provides funds for infrastructural development long time back infrastructural industries were started only by government of india and private sectors were not interested in investing in infrastructural development but now after economic liberalization private sector industries are, are also coming forward to invest in infrastructure industries because financial system provides them with funds so financial system is providing private sector sector with funds so private sector is coming forward to invest in infrastructural industries the financial system helps in infrastructural development and thereby promotes economic development now let us move on to the sixth point role of financial system in the development of trade so financial system helps in the promotion of domestic and foreign trade so for trade we you know trade bill as well as letter of credit is very important and they are issued by banks and banks are part of financial system the financial system helps in the development of trade now let us focus on letter of credit letter of credit is very important for trade see in foreign trade uh, the foreign trade takes place between uh, two parties importer and exporter and this importer and exporter they resides in two different countries 
so they don't know the credit worthiness of each other so usually in foreign trade exporter will export his product and importer after getting the product they will make a payment to the exporter so only after receiving products importer will make pay payments to exporter so exporters are in a risky position because they don't know the credit worthiness of importer even though they don't know that they have to uh, send their product to importer so in this case in foreign trades exporters usually ask for letter of credit from importer and letter of credit is usually issued by bank so letter of credit is a bank guarantee telling the credit worthiness of importer so letter of credit says uh, usually states that this this particular importer is credit worthy and he will make the payments at right time so letter of credit is essential for foreign trade and letter of credit is issued by banks and which is a part of financial system so financial system helps in the development of both foreign trade and domestic trade so if trade is uh, trade is developed or trade increases in a country usually economic development also increases so financial system has an important role in the development of trade as well as its promote as well as it promote economic development of the country now let us move on to the next point financial system generates employment opportunities so the presence of financial system will generate more employment opportunities in the country so we know that financial system provides working capital to the business units or to the companies so thereby production increases when production increases automatically employment opportunities increase so financial system increases employment opportunity or financial system generates employment opportunity so there are various financial services like leasing merchant banking and so on and all these services needs people to do this this employment opportunities also increases and in the last point we have seen that financial system helps in the growth of trade so when trade increases automatically production increases and employment opportunity also increases so financial system generates employment opportunities in the economy and thereby promotes economic development of the country but now let us move on to eighth point financial system enhances entrepreneurship through venture capital we know development of entrepreneurship is very important for for the development of the country and entrepreneurship is enhanced by financial system through venture capital so venture capital is a, is a, usually the um private equities of startup companies small startup companies investing in small startup companies are very risky because we don't know what what will happen in the in the future whether the company will succeed in future we don't know about that so usually people do not invest or people uh, are reluctant to buy equity shares of uh, start small startup companies but financial system provides venture capital funds to these entrepreneurs and again enhances the entrepreneurship so when entrepreneurship is enhanced automatically country's economic development is also promoted financial system enhances entrepreneurship through venture capital and thereby promotes economic development of the country so now let us move on to the ninth point financial system enhances balanced growth so we know that for economic development balanced growth is necessary 
balanced growth means equal growth in all sectors. In every country, we can see three important sectors. Primary sector, secondary sector and tertiary sector. So, balanced growth means development of primary, secondary and tertiary sector simultaneously. Financial system, a strong and efficient financial system provides enough funds for all the three sectors and ensures they are balanced growth. So, financial system ensures balanced growth of primary sector, secondary sector and tertiary sector. So, when there is balanced growth, economy, economy's development will automatically take place. So, we can say that financial system ensures balanced growth and thereby promotes economic development of the country. Now let us move on to the next point. Financial system helps in fiscal discipline and control of the economy. Financial system helps the government to create a good business atmosphere so that there is neither inflation nor depression in the economy. So economic condition is maintained by government through financial system. And financial system provides government with adequate funds for development activities. So, government gets long-term and short-term funds from financial market, which is a component of financial system. Then government uh, can control speculative transactions and growth of black money in the economy through bringing regulations in financial system. So, by controlling financial system, government can control speculative activities as well as black money. So, government can make a good business condition, business environment in the country as well as government get enough funds from financial system and through controlling financial system, government can uh, control speculative and black money growth in the economy. So, financial system helps in fiscal discipline and control of the economy. So, if there is fiscal discipline and better control of the economy, economy will automatically develop. So, financial system ensures or promotes economic development in the country. Now, let us move on to the next point. Role of financial system in attracting foreign capital. Financial system promotes capital market. See, Capital market is a component of financial system and a dynamic and developed capital market is capable of attracting funds from both domestic and abroad. So, foreign capital can be uh, attracted through capital market. So, financial system attracts foreign capital and thereby promotes economic development of the country. Now let us move on to the last point, role of financial system in political stability. Political condition in all the countries with developed financial system will be stable. So if a country's financial system is developed, then country's political condition will be stable. The, the opposite is also true. If a country's political condition is stable, then its financial system will be developed. So, there is an interconnection between political stability and financial system. So, unstable political environment will not only really affect the financial system of the country, but also economic development. So, if there is a developed financial system, uh, it promotes political stability as well as it helps in or it promotes economic development of the country. So through this 12 points, we can say that financial system is essential for a country's economic development. An efficient financial system is, a, is necessary for a country's economic development.